Well, welcome everybody to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. My name is Chris Murdoch. On this episode of Race Face Spotlight, we have a very special racer who's been sort of on a hot streak as of late, Jaden Walbridge. Jaden, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. Well, I do kind of want to start uh, with sort of a hot streak. You've been racing at the Las Vegas Bullring for the past couple weeks, and you've been able to pick up three wins in a row. Man, what does that feel like to go to the track and just be able to win that many times? Yeah, it's definitely a confidence booster. Um, you know, in Madera, we've had some breakdowns, so I think we just need to work on our luck there. But, uh, you know, I'm Rookie of the Year points leader and championship points leader, so we only have one more race left, so hopefully we can uh, finish it off good. Well, that's awesome. So... You know, you've been racing for a while, and you've been involved in racing since you were a little kid. What was it like growing up in racing, always being at the track and having family involved in, in racing? Yeah, you know, it was, it was kind of cool. It's always something that I wanted to do, you know, starting out when I was four. You know, it was just, just start off something as fun, and then, it, you know, it got more serious. And so, you know, it was already, it was always fun, you know, seeing my grandpa race, it was always fun going to the track, so. Yeah. When did you, you know, know or sort of figure out that you wanted to do this, you know, professionally? When did you know you wanted to drive race cars? Yeah, always, always watching NASCAR. You know, I, I've always been a Kyle Busch fan, so I just wanted to be like him. But, um, yeah, once I, we started racing in Portland, so once we met someone that actually introduced us to, you know, more big-time racing, once I started racing that, I kind of clicked. I was like, I'm actually going to try to do this as a living. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, at the top of this interview, you know, going to Madeira Speedway. You've been doing a lot of traveling back and forth this season, going from Madeira to the Bull Ring. What has it been like going back and forth from track to track? Yeah, it's fun. You know, spending, you know I've been spending a lot of time with my grandparents because they both go with me, but... You know, it's definitely a lot to handle. Um, they're both really hot places up in Portland, so it's kind of a big change, but it's a lot of fun. And, you know, how are the tracks sort of different? What do you have to do differently when you're you're driving at Madeira versus what you're doing when you're driving at the Boring? Yeah, Madeira is a lot more flat. You know, it's really slippery during the daytime there, but Las Vegas is a lot more, it's a lot faster and there's more grip, you know, it's higher bank, so... Uh, you know, I really like the both in many deep ways. They're both really fun. And you've been racing the junior late model for a while, and, and you're kind of moving your way up through the ranks. Where do you see yourself progressing? Where would you ultimately like to end up in your career? You know, everyone wants to end up in Cubs, you know, so I hope I end up there, but... Um, you know, we'll just take it step by step for now. Um, maybe do some, we're going to try to do some junior late model stuff and some super lates next year, uh, both at Madeira, but we'll just have to play it by year and see what happens. Super late models are always so, so tricky. You mentioned, you know, always watching NASCAR and, you know, having a favorite driver in Kyle Busch. Is there any drivers you sort of look to at the tracks you're racing at and sort of watch what they're doing or try to learn from anybody? Well, I mean, being the rookie of the year points leader in the championship uh, points leader, you know, last person to win rookie of the year and champion was Kyle Busch. So that's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of, that's kind of neat. To that know is kind of neat. You know, since I was a kid. So, um, yeah, hoping I can pull it off and uh, be the second one to do it. And he's been winning a lot this year. You've been winning a lot this year. So that's got a, that's sort of a weird correlation you got going on there. That's kind of it's kind of a neat stat. Is there any track in particular that you look at or maybe that you've raced in the past that you really like? Is there a track that you like driving now or would like to go to or a track that you've driven in the past? Do you have a favorite track? Oh, this is a tough one. Uh, you know, everyone at Bader Speedway, they put on a great show, you know, Kenny Shepard. It's just a whole great deal. Same thing in Vegas. Um, they're both really fun tracks. I like the both. You know, Vegas has high speeds and high banks, but I, 
I really like Lake Havasu, you know, coming from a dirt driver, it's really flat and really slick. Uh, it's really short, too, so I, I like that one. We raced last year, but unfortunately got rained out. And you're still sort of a teenager, too, so you're doing all this traveling and you're doing all this racing and you still have to balance school. Is, is that difficult? You know, how hard is it to balance school and, and driving race cars? Yeah, that, that was a big issue, but, you know, now that I'm, I got homeschooled, you know, I'm homeschooled now because, because of that issue. So it's online. It's, it makes it a lot easier. I'm not going really. I can just homeschool on the road. So. Well, Jaden... I do want to thank you for taking the time and, and sitting down uh, but down with me. But before we let you go, uh, where can people find you on social media? How can people keep up to date with what you're doing? Yeah, you can check out, uh, you can check out my website, my Instagram, my Twitter. I'm just making a Twitter now. I'm kind of new to that. But, yeah, you can check me out on Facebook, everything. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I want to, again, thank you for taking the time, and I wish you the best of luck coming up in your future races. Thank you. I appreciate it. And that has been Jade and Walbridge. If you've missed any of our past Race Face Spotlights, you can catch up at raceface.tv on demand. As always, my name is Chris Murdoch. Thanks for watching.